13th of January, 1939. The Black Friday fires destroyed more than 700 homes in Victoria. 71 people dead. 16th of February, 1983. Ash Wednesday fires destroy about 2,500 buildings in South Australia and Victoria. Killing a total of 75 people. 7th of February 2009, Australians faced a tragedy known as the Victorian bushfires. That fire is raging out of control. Oh my god, look down that side, they're here. They are everywhere. This is not, that house is gone. That house is gone. Bushfires have ravaged through country Victoria. The death toll currently stands at 180 people, with hundreds of people also still missing. The bushfires have left over 5,000 people homeless, and many townships have been all but completely destroyed. A lot of the victims have lost everything. Their homes, their pets, their cars, even their loved ones. Being in country Victoria and actually seeing how hot it was the day the fire started and just how easy it would be for entire communities to go up and smoke, it just, it highlights to me how little time these people had to not only save their properties but also save their lives. I'm Tony, Moisey 01. Now I was involved in the Ash Wednesday fires back in 83, 84, so uh, I do know how you guys feel and my heart goes out to you. My heart goes out to you guys in Victoria, um, to everybody who lost friends and family. I wish you all the best and I hope that you all are safe and well now. Be strong and as back in 83 and 84, Victoria came to South Australia's aid. So, as support for you guys, I'm doing this video to Victoria people and I wish you all well. Bye -bye. To everyone who's been affected by the bushfires, you're in our hearts, you have our support and stay strong. My deepest sympathies to the thousands of people who were affected by the fires. My heart goes out to everyone affected by these bushfires and I just want to help in any way that I possibly can. While I can't be out there on the front helping to clean up or fight fires. There's things that I can do at home and there's things that you all can do at home as well. Please, 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 if you can donate something. Now I know a lot of you guys out there are struggling yourself, but if you can donate something, I cannot imagine what it would be like to lose my home, let alone lose, you know, some of your children or something like that in a fire. Times are tough, but I encourage all partners to donate some of their partnership program money and you to donate some of your pay. Take a collection at work, church, school, however you can help out would be fantastic. I'm raising money for the Victorian and bushfires. Um, I'm doing a fun run. It's not just monetary donations either that matter. These are just some of the clothes I'm donating to the bushfire cause. Most of these people have lost everything. They need it more than I do. I'm going to be donating things such as handbags, dresses, jumpers, even like notepad and pens. They need it all. I'm a jewellery designer as most of you know, so I thought I'd cheer them up and make some bracelets for the mum, because you know what, I think it'd be nice to have something nice as well as just the necessities, so that's what I'm doing. This is the worst natural disaster we've ever had. So give what you can to the Australian Red Cross and help out people who've lost everything.
For all donations, call the Red Cross on 1800 811 700 or go to www.redcross.org. They are looking for blood donations at this time so that they can help treat burn victims from this tragedy. All you need to do to become one of these, an Australian blood donor, is by going to the Red Cross blood donation website, which is www.donateblood.com. For those of you living outside of Australia, like me, you can make an online donation to the bushfire appeal at secure.salvationarmy.org. There's a link in the sidebar. Otherwise, you can call any of the major Australian banks to make a donation. And remember, every little bit, every little bit, every little bit helps. Every little bit helps. I'd like to talk about the toll that this has had on animals. They had the heat wave, so they were already severely dehydrated, and then the fires came through. They estimate that millions have been killed, but there is also thousands that are injured and desperately need your help. Every year, devastating natural disasters occur around the world, and we as humans need to learn to appreciate and protect our animals and the environments they live in. You can visit www.rspcavic.org. You can follow the links there. You can donate money or you can also donate items. I know they are desperately in need of temporary fencing, green shopping bags. They also need blankets. And if you've ever looked after an animal, you'll know that they go through a lot of blankets and towels.